to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about um, probability, histogram, and the law of large numbers. Okay, so we'll be trying to define what is probability histogram and how it correlates to the law of large number and what is the law of large numbers. Okay, so for example, we have here a probability distribution. So let me just fix first my pen okay um, okay for example we have a probability distribution for example of um, trying to make a three-point shot within four attempts so for example for the first trial or the, for the first attempt so the pro probability of shooting it is uh, 0 0.25 or 25 percent for the second trial the prob probability is 0 0.15 if 15 percent for the third trial is 0 0.20 okay and for the fourth trial so it is 0 0.45 of course if you sum, sum up all of the probabilities it will be equivalent to uh, 100 percent or one so because the the maximum probability of any event could occur is 1. Okay, so let's just check. This is, I believe this is, um, this is equivalent to 40. So this is that 45 but 40. So, made some mistake there. Okay, so this is a probability distribution of a discrete random variable. So if we're going to present this one in graphical form, so let's have that one in red. Okay. If we're going to represent this one in graphical form, so this will be our probability, okay? And this will be the number of trials, okay? So we will just put here the trials, okay? So we have here one, second trial, two, the uh, first, second, and the fourth trial, okay? So if we are going to present this one, so we have here, maybe we could have this one as... 0 0.5 0 0.1 okay 0. Point, maybe i run out of um let's state here 15 0 0.2 so maybe we could erase first this one here okay. let's just first make the uh graph 0 0.25 okay 0 0.30 0 0.35 maybe we should move it here okay okay move it here okay then we have so let's just assume that it is true uh scaled because we have um, run up of real state okay so for the first so you have here 0 0.25 so this is the bar this is the bar for the first attempt the second attempt is 0 0.15 so here for the third attempt is 0 0.2 or 0 0.20 okay And the fourth attempt is 0 0.4. Okay, so. Okay. Just assume that we have also the same um, distance, uh, the same uh, area for each of the bar graph. Because if we're going to do this uh, using Excel, so it could be um, on, uh, on a more re re realistic um, 
graph. No? Uh, so this is not called a bar graph, but this is a histogram. So when you say a uh, histogram, so the the bars are um, are uh, connected or are connected to each other because the distribution that we are doing also is connected to each other. So there is because the bar graph is a, independent among each other but histogram they are connected so that's why we if we are going to grab a discrete random uh, variable of having a having this kind of probability distribution we'll be using a histogram and this is now what we called as a okay maybe we should, i will not um have that one so this is what we called as probability histogram so what is a probability histogram okay so we'll just write here the definition of a probability histogram So, it is a histogram histogram with a possible just possible value or the uh, the outcome, possible outcomes in the x-axis and the probability in the y-axis. Okay. So, a histogram or a pro probability histogram is a uh, it's a histogram with a possible value or the, or the possible outcomes written on the x-axis on the horizontal axis and the probability of those outcomes to occur is in the y-axis. So going back to the figure that we have written earlier, so these are the possible, the trials, the possible outcomes, and this is the percentage or the probability of those outcomes to occur. So that is a probability histogram. So basically, we are just making a graphical presentation of our probability distribution. And that is the probability histogram. Okay. Next, we will go to the law of large numbers. Okay. So this is a much um, useful law, especially in probability so it states that as a probability okay it's just probability distribution distribution is performed many times many times the observe the observed value which is the mean will arrive at the expected value so the law of large number states that as the prob probability experiment or a uh, probability distribu distribution in this case is performed many times the observed value which is the mean of the whole distribution will arrive at the expected value which is the uh, expected value for which we could say that that experiment will end up for example if tossing a coin for for the first toss we have uh, we have head uh, head and tails head tails head tails basically as we repeat the experiment the 
as suggested by the law of large number, the equivalent mean or the equivalent mean for those event for the head or the tails will be 50% because the expected value of getting a head or a tail in a single toss will be 50% also or one half. Okay, so that is the law of large numbers. So it is just uh, stating that as we go on with, uh, with repeating the experiment, our mean will eventually uh, go or will eventually um, reach our expected value. So that is uh, depending on the number of uh, repetitions we made to our experiment. This is very useful because when we go now to hypothesis testing and the other applications of pro probability, this will occur because we are now trying to um, to we are now trying to see on those applications if how far is the observed value to the expected value because as it goes near maybe we could accept our hypothesis or reject our hypothesis so this is basically the um, the one of the foundations of um, pro probability the law of large numbers okay so I hope you understand something with this video. So thank you for always watching and thank you for um, always supporting the channel. We have reached the uh, 1K subscribers. So of course, the aim of, that, of this channel is not to be monetized but to help students and, uh, and other uh, people who wants to learn math and, and engineering to understand uh, better on on their own subjects okay so i hope that you will still continue supporting the channel and we could reach the 15k uh, subscribers and please share the video give a like and as always enjoy learning